Alright guys and girls, again, this is my third tutorial that I've done <coughs> in the past two days. And this tutorial is going to be a basic tutorial on redstone. First of all, there's the oops, obvious pressure plates and levers method of opening doors. Just throw a door in there. And manually, manually open it. Throw down a pressure plate in front of it, so it requires no redstone whatsoever. You can throw a leaf in next to it, so it also requires no redstone. Or you can use the redstone method. So we've got our little lever here, and then we grab this redstone. And we make a trail. This allows for some pretty nifty methods of making things. Allows you to open doors from long distances. St such strange, fascinating magic, isn't it? Alright, now we're going to move on to topic number two. Detonators. What we're going to do first of all is grab this TNT, throw it down in a hotbar, and place it in this nifty hole in the ground. Now, I'm sure most of you know of the landmine method. Put some TNT in the ground, put a pressure plate on top so it requires no redstone. Walk over it, and it sets it off. Making a very large explosion. Steal all this sand from the explosion. Now, you can also throw another block of TNT down in the ground here. And we'll put a pressure plate up here. Now, this allows you to detonate your landmine from a safe distance. Alright, landmine and push. And detonation. See how that allows you to set off your TNT without blowing yourself up. This also works with levers, as I will show you in just a second. hole pick that up redstone and throw a lever on the side of the block here and three two one detonation and it blows it sky high Alright guys, now I'm going to tell you about redstone inverters and repeaters. First of all, you need to know that power running through redstone only reaches to the 15th block. If I stand on this pressure plate and apply power, it only reaches about halfway to, the, to block 15. Now, one way we can get around this is by deleting that last piece of redstone, throwing down some dirt, deleting this piece of redstone, and putting a redstone torch there. Now, that makes the door be open all the time unless we apply power, which is not all we want at all. That is an inverter. That inverts the normal stream of power and does the opposite of what we want. Now, one way we can get around this, place another block of dirt, place some redstone on top of the first block, and place a redstone torch on top of our new block. That ensures that the door remains closed normally, do the two redstone torches, and if we apply pressure to the pressure plate, sending power through the redstone, the door opens even though it is further than 15 blocks away. Now, this segment is on carts and, ra and redstone. Now, you'll see here with this track that it is a loop, but there's also a little off part. Now, this off part and loop is here so that when I apply pressure to this pressure plate, 
the loop changes and you fly into the off part. It's activated using this redstone and redstone torch. And because it's a wooden pressure plate, it will activate whenever anything passes over it. Let's see it in use now. And we pass off. But if we go back. Jump out. Push it around. And watch it fly. See how it goes through even when I'm not on it? But if I stop this now. Stop that cart. Delete this pressure plate. And remove the cart. If I replace that with a stone pressure plate, it still activates when I touch it. But if I now just send the cart around by itself, push, it just continues on. It doesn't activate it. But if I stop the cart, jump in myself, we go through and off to the end. This could be very useful in mines where you want to send the cart back up, but only send it a certain direction if you're still in the cart. Now, the final thing I'm going to cover in this redstone tutorial is double doors. These can be pretty tricky unless you know how to do them right. This is one I've set up previously, and it seems to work pretty well. The way it works, step on the, on the pad and it opens the doors. More complicatedly, it sends power along here, through the extender so that it goes through, around here, and powers this. Now, when I press that, if I apply pressure to this, you see that torch turns off. That torch turning off means the power no longer flows through this, which means this turns on and opens that door. Power flowing through here also means power flows through to here and opens the door. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped with your attempts at using redstone.